What's up, guys? The Phenomenal AJ Styles, and welcome to Smack Talk's YouTube channel. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 23 in this new Diddy No series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know there is an alternate stand-in version of the Dominator for Bobby Lashley? This one comes from EOB WWE, who reveals the presence of a second new DLC Dominator move for Bobby Lashley, as by default Lashley uses this new version of the move from the ground position which is labelled Dominator 2, however should you wish to use a stand-in version of the move, then there is also this second new version of the Dominator which is included as part of the Titans DLC pack and listed as Dominator 1. This alternate version is only assigned to Lashley as a ringside finisher, however should you assign it to use in ring, then it also comes with this useful pin combo option included. Additionally, not only is this move available as a regular finisher, but it can also be used as an announce table finisher, as by default Lashley is assigned Powerbomb 2 rather than the Dominator, therefore this may be something else that you might not be aware of. Did you know that Jinder Mahal's updated Trons can now be selected and create an entrance? Following patch 1.02, we covered how the PC files for the game showed updated files for Jinder Mahal's championship entrance, which featured an updated Titan Tron, Mini Tron and Ramp movie where the carpet would appear as he walked to the ring, however at that time, those movies were locked from use and only assignable using PC mods. Now though, following the release of the new Titans DLC pack, these Trons have now been unlocked and can be selected and create an entrance where you'll find them listed as Jinder Mahal 2. By default, the Trons aren't used in either Jinder's regular entrance or his title entrance, therefore it is something that you'll have to manually assign yourself. Did you know that there is special commentary included in Universe Mode for Thanksgiving? Previously in the series, we celebrated Halloween by covering the special Halloween commentary that occurs when playing matches in Universe Mode at the end of October, therefore to celebrate Thanksgiving, today we're covering some more special commentary that takes place during the Survivor Series pay-per-view in which the commentary team wish everyone a Happy Thanksgiving. And let me take this opportunity to say Happy Thanksgiving to all of you watching tonight. I gotta say, I don't know if it's because I ate too much turkey or if it's just Saxton's commentary. It's a good thing this match coming up is gonna give me a little boost. It's Saxton's commentary. And guys, what a thrill it must be for these superstars to compete here on Thanksgiving. Especially considering what this day has meant to this industry over the years. For decades, Thanksgiving was considered one of the biggest nights of sports entertainment. And that tradition continues here tonight. I hope everybody enjoyed their turkey as we prepare to kick this match off momentarily. You know what, guys? Aside from my family, I can't think of two other people I'd rather spend Thanksgiving with. Uh, In fact, I go so far as to say that you guys are like family to me. Uh, Happy Thanksgiving, fellas. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. Thank you, everybody, for spending part of your Thanksgiving holiday with us. Did you know that the War Raiders have their own unique way of tagging in and out? This one is a small one and just a little visual thing, however it's pretty cool attention to detail for fans of the War Raiders as should you perform one of their new corner tag team moves then you'll see them tag out in their own unique fashion as rather than tag out using their palms, they'll instead bump wrists just like they do in real life. Did you know that there is an alternate unused version of the Insane Elbow? This one comes from Mero Ramirez, who reveals the presence of a new and unassigned version of Kyrie Sane's Insane Elbow, as alongside the regular version of the move which can be performed from the top rope, Mero reveals that there is also a middle rope version of the move that is unassigned and can be found in a middle rope diving attacks in Create a Move Set. Kyrie Sane, big move coming, Sane Elbow! Beautiful. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. 
As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.